Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. How are you today? Hi. Hello, Marlene. How was your day today? Fine, fine, teacher. What did you do today? I was busy. <laughs> busy with my children. Okay. And what do you do with your children? Uh, a lot of things. Um, with my... ¿Cómo se dice? Mi hijo mayor. My older son. My older son. Um, I help study with the English exam. Oh, that's so yeah. good. That's very good. I'm happy to hear that. Yes, tomorrow is going to have this exam. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's and good. Explaining, and I, I explain in a lot of um, topic. All right. So you are the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm happy to hear right. that. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's Thank good. You. That's what it's all about. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Marlene. Very good. Good job. Okay. Thank you. All right. Excellent work, guys. Uh, hello. Welcome, Giselle. Welcome, Alyssa. Hello, Jose. Welcome, Michelle. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Edgar. Hello, Maria. Hello, Roberto. Hello, Neftali. And hello, Sara. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you today? How do you feel today? I'm feeling great. Excellent, excellent. What did you do today? I went to my job huh? and to the gym. Oh, nice, nice. And what did you do at the gym? I work arms and no sé cómo se dice espalda. Back. 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 Arms okay. and back. That's so good. That's so good. I'm so happy to hear that. Awesome. Yeah, it's important to exercise every day. I went to the swimming pool and I did eight laps. So I feel very relaxed. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Giselle. Hello, Elisa. Hello, Jose, Michelle, welcome, Edgar. Yes. Hello, Maria. How are you, Jose? Hello. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I am very, a little tired. I imagine, I imagine. Uh, <laughs> tell the class about your experience uh, with, uh, with the football, beach football. Yes, Dang. I look at beach uh, volleyball. Ah, beach volleyball, nice. And how do you feel yes. uh, in this experience? It's very, very good the experience. Uh, I speak uh, with uh, people of uh, athletic este uh, or. Jamaica, eh, Dinamarca, eh, sorry, sorry. Oh, yes. athletes, atletas. Jamaica, athletes. Eh, yes, yes, athletes. Athletes. Jamaica, eh, Republic, Dominican, Dominica Republic. Dominican Republic? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. And uh, do they speak yes. English? Do they speak English or only Spanish? I speak English. Oh, okay. Good, good. Excellent, Jose. I'm happy yes. to hear that. Well, I'm glad that you were able to. I, I would have liked to go watch 
okay. sports. I like it. I like it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Uh, okay. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Michelle. Welcome, Edgar. Welcome, Maria. Welcome, Roberto. Welcome, Neftali. Welcome, Sara. Welcome, Benjamin. Welcome, Karen. Welcome, Wendy. Welcome, Oscar Sambrano. Welcome, Oscar Santana. Good job, guys. Welcome to the class. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Roberto. How was your day today? Hey, how you doing, teacher? Very good, very good. How was uh, your day uh, today? Uh, just right here, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying my day off today. Oh, nice, yeah, nice. I, I'm still, I feel a little bit tired, you know, but I am fine, you know. So okay, okay. I'm here. Nothing more, nothing less, uh, oh, teacher. That, that's good. And, and tell me, uh, what do you normally do on your days off? What What is your your routine look like? Uh, well, it's it's not a big deal, you know. Just uh, I'm try to to stay home, you know, watching TV. I stay with my family. I'm try to eat something good, or because I know how to cook. Oh, good. Uh, Good. Yeah. What can you cook? What can you cook? Uh, uh, I mean, I like uh, I like to cook uh, Italian food, you know, because I like uh, a pastas. Oh, okay. uh, okay. and I know how to make pizzas. Wow. Um, wow. So, uh, Interesting. So I'm, 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 sometimes I I'm try to do something different for my lunch. Mm -hmm. So I'm here, you know. I hey, well, tell. that's 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 very good. You know, um, a lot of men think that cooking is not for men. I personally oh. think that cooking is a basic life skill. You know, yeah. Um, I live alone. I live by myself. So oh, really? yeah. So I have to wash. I have to clean. I have oh. to cook, uh, take out the me, trash. Yeah, me either. You know, you know. Uh, when I stay home, you know, I try to do uh, uh, a lot of things. You know, but uh, like I tell you, uh, I know how to cook, and I'm. I don't. I, I don't do nothing special when I got my day off. Okay. Just, just relax, you know. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's that's the idea to enjoy the time, enjoy yeah. your inner peace. Yeah, recover. Uh, you know, so that yeah. tomorrow you go back to work. To, feeling yeah, energized. tomorrow. Tomorrow I need to to I need to get to to make money again. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back in the rat race. That's how yes, it's yes. All right. Yes, but Thank you, yep. Roberto. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Sarah. Welcome, Benjamin. Welcome, Karen. Welcome, Wendy. Welcome, Oscar. Welcome, the other Oscar. Welcome, Karen. Welcome, Carmen. I Welcome, Selma. I see you. Hello, Janet. Carolina, I see you. All right. Hey, Benjamin. How are you? How was your day? How was your day today, Benjamin? Okay, we lost him. He sent a text and he got disconnected. Okay, that's okay. All right, guys, welcome back to your class. I hope that everybody had a very good Tuesday. Uh, my Tuesday was awesome. And um, I am ready for the class. At this moment, who can tell me what do you remember from yesterday's class? What information do you remember? What did we talk about? What were some of the topics? Uh, tell me a little bit about yesterday's class. Who can tell me? I saw the video. Oh, okay. Tell me, uh, Mr. Alvarenga, tell me what did you watch on the video? It's very important is uh, speaking 
uh, celebrate. That they is cel correct. celebrate day. Celebrations, yes, yes of uh, course. Day. Uh, uh, tell me, day. tell me, what is your favorite celebration day, Jose? Uh, uh, New Year's. Okay, and what 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 do you normally uh, do in New Year's Day? Mm, stay with my family. Yes. Eat, drink, all 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 okay. activities. Uh, okay, yes. and do you eat grapes? For good luck? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How many grapes do you eat? How many gra grapes? I don't Uvas. know. Ra ah, grapes. Yes. Grapes. Yes. Grapes. Um, <laughs> more, more is uh, 10 grapes. The story is 12, 12, 12 grave. 12 <laughs> my, graves. My wife, my huh? wife 12 graves at uh, 12 o'clock. 12 graves at 12 <laughs> o'clock for good luck. <laughs> All right. That's good. That's good. Excellent, Jose. All right, guys. So in yesterday's class, we were talking about different celebrations. And today we are going to continue. Uh, with the topic, which is going to be coming from the listening exercises carnival. Uh, number one, listen and repeat. What is carnival? Listen what and is... repeat. What is carnival? What, what is carnival? 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 It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. How long does it last? How long, How long, does, long does it last? How long does it last? It lasts for a whole day. It lasts for a whole day. When is it? When is, it? when is it? It's on late February. Or early March. Or early March. Or early March. Or early March. What is the name? What is the what what is the samba? samba? Oh, sorry. What is the samba? The samba. What is what, samba? what is the samba? The samba is a dance. The samba, the samba, samba is, is a dance. dance. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, for this activity is you are going to uh, think about a special celebration in El Salvador. For example, uh, Marlene. What is a celebration in El Salvador? Um, I think Holy uh, Week, August Vacation, Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, Teacher's Day. But the, the question is, what is my favorite? Uh, no, no, no. What is a celebration in El Salvador. No lo entiendo. A celebration, no entiendo. Uh, una celebración. What is a celebration in El Salvador? Um, a celebration. I think when a lot of people celebrate uh, Independence Day, for example. 
Okay. A lot, in the a lot of people fence. go okay. to see the. Oh, ¿Cómo se llama? Se me olvidó. La marcha. Ah, marcha. Parade. 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 Look at the stage. Parade. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, now the next question. How long does it last? ¿Cuánto tiempo dura? How long does it last? Uh, one month on September. It lasts. It lasts. Okay, good. Uh, when is it? When is it? On September. Um, the next one. What is, or let's say, what do people do? And then you can say, uh, uh, people watch the parade and eat uh, hot dogs. Hot dogs and burgers. Yeah, you can say people drink. Coke and beer. Okay. Oh. Say people wear uh, sneakers, jeans, a t shirt. And a cap. And then we're here. What is a celebration in El Salvador? Independence Day. That's it. Okay. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to ask the questions and respond to the questions. One student is going to ask the question. And the other student is going to respond to the question. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Dos voluntarios. Dos voluntarios. Somebody. Hi. Okay. Um, that is Carolina. All right. Ask the question and let me have Jose respond to the question. Carolina, ask the question. Jose, respond to the question and vice versa. Carolina, ask the question. What is a celebration in El Salvador? It's a Father, father Day. How long does it last? One day. When is it? It's a seven. 7th July. July 7th. Uh, June, 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 June 7th. June 7th. Okay, thank you. In, in, Eng in English, we say the month first and then the day. Yes, thank you. Next question. 
What do people do? Sorry. What do people do? What? A, maybe eat a cake. Y que hay pasear, teacher. Eh, go out. Go, go, go out. Yes. Go out. Go out. Possible eat a uh, restaurant. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Uh, also, uh, some people put uh, mariachis and they. You know, they sing the song, Mi Querido Viejo, to their fathers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Excellent, uh, Jose. Uh, Jose, ask the questions and Jenny respond. Okay. What is a celebration in El Salvador? Christmas. Sorry. Christmas. Christmas night. She said Christmas. Christmas. Oh, okay. Santa Christmas. Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch <laughs> out. You better not cry. You better not pout. <laughs> I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. To town. <laughs> how long? How long does it last? One day. One day. The Christmas night is a uh, celebrate. The people celebrate all the day and uh, the night. But the Christmas. Oh. The spirit is all the mount. <laughs> okay, okay. Next question. When is it? When is it? Uh, December 24th. Okay. What do people do? Um, the people uh, cook, cook uh, chicken, turkey, meat, rice, salad, uh, drink soda, beers, uh, wine, and dance all the night to celebrate with the family. And give presents. And give presents. The best part you, of the night do you like? the present. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. How do you Perfect. say reventar cuerpos? Do you like beers? <laughs> Fireworks, no sé qué. <laughs> I don't know, reventar cuerpos. Pop, pop fireworks. Pop, pop fireworks. Pop fireworks. I like, I like pop fireworks with my son. <laughs> or you can say fire... Pop. Pop fireworks. Firecrackers. You can say pop fireworks or you can say pop firecrackers. It's the same thing. I like, I like, como dijo? Pop, pop, pop fire. Pop fireworks. Oh, no. the, the, I like pop fireworks. The name is Silva Boom. <laughs> Did for boom fireworks. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. It's, it's very dangerous. Yeah. I like the danger. <laughs> wow. Adrenaline. Adrenaline. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right. Okay. Excellent work, uh, Jenny. <laughs> Excellent work, Jose. Okay, guys, I know that everybody wants to uh, participate, but we have to continue with the class.
So for the next activity, I would like for us to go ahead and take a look at the next section, which is going to be coming from section number 3.7. 3.7. In this session, you will listen and practice a conversation about wedding customs. Adverbial clauses of time will be introduced. We're going to watch a video. Okay, wedding day. Wedding day. Can everybody hear? Can everybody hear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Can you hear the video? For an no, after a ceremony. Okay. Yes. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner. And after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, practice the pronunciation on this conversation. I would like for you to please listen and repeat. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emika. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful. Así no se ve, bien borroso. Yeah, I think you got to look at it like really close. Uh, thank you. These pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Thank you. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? Where, Where was, was the ceremony? ceremony? At a shrine. Uh, at, at, at a shrine. shrine. A shrine is eh, similar como una iglesia o un templo eh, en la cultura de los chinos. Eh, when people get married in Japan, when people when get married, people married, people married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. They sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. Well, usually, usually only members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. But we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? What are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give presents or... Sing songs. 
there's a big dinner a big dinner after the after the service sing songs <laughs> it's it sounds like fun it sounds like it fun. sounds like fun eh, no es muy like fun. no es muy diferente como las bodas de nosotros verdad la gente también canta eh, a dan speeches bailan ajá casi es igual um, okay it really is it really, it really is. is and really then is. Before the oh. guests leave. And then, and then before, and the, before the guests leave. leave. The bride and groom give them presents. The, the bride, bride and groom give them presents. Give them presents. Uh -huh. Ahí sí cambió la cosa, ¿verdad? Porque nosotros acostumbramos que los invitados le dan presents a los que se van a casar. En este caso, los que se casan dan presents a los invitados. Qué feo. Ajá, y ahí sí ya cambió. Sí, ajá, pues. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Oh. Yes, yes. Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. So allí cambió. Eh, eh. El, el novio y la novia dan regalos y los invitados les dan dinero. Ok, ok. It makes sense. All right. Uh, let's, does anybody have any questions uh, about this uh, conversation? Questions about the pronunciation? Questions about the meaning? Uh, anything like that? Questions, questions. Questions, questions. Okay. Uh, for this activity, we're going to practice in pairs. I want you to practice in pairs. Uh, but before we do that, I want us to take the attendance. Okay. Vamos a tomar la asistencia. Ya es hora, son las 8.32. So when I say your name, please say present. Okay. Si usted ve que su compañero dijo present, in the in the chat, maybe say, "Hey, Mr. Santos, he gave you a present, but you didn't love you." Please, por favor. Estoy viendo que Benjamin está entrando y saliendo eh, por su internet, so a él le vamos a poner present. All right, all right, Oscar Santana, good job. All right, the first one, uh, first one is, this is, Benjamin, Benjamin, yes, present. Present teacher. Excellent. Brenda. Brenda. Brenda is absent. Okay. Uh, Carmen. Present. Thank you. Edgar. Edgar Portillo. Edgar Portillo absent. Okay. Elisa. Present teacher. Excellent. Giselle. Present teacher. Very good. Janet. Janet. Presentito. Janet Carolina, presente. Yes. Okay, ya la vi. Thank you. Gracias. Jose. 
Excellent. Present. Thank you. Karen Bernal. Karen Bernal. Karen Bernal. Absent. Okay. Karen Villanueva. Present teacher. Excellent. Leslie. Leslie. Orellana. Uh, teacher, I'm here. Sorry, still at work. Edgar Fernando. Okay, Edgar Fernando is present. Edgar Fernando is present. Okay, Edgar Fernando, present. Um, Karen Bernal and Leslie Oriana is absent. Okay. Let me have... Leslie absent. Maria. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlene. Present teacher. Awesome. Melissa. Present. Thank you, Melissa. Michelle. Present teacher. Excellent, Michelle. Neftali. Very good. Nimrod. Nimrod. Uh, Nimrod Saul. I estaba asked to unmute. Hello, Nimrod Saul. Can you hear me? Hello, Nimrod Saul. Can you hear me? All right. Oscar Santana. Present teacher. Excellent. Oscar Zambrano. Okay, Oscar Zambrano presente, dice en el chat. Good job, thank you. Eh, vamos a ver, Roberto. Uh, present teacher. Very good. Sara. Present. Thank you. Selma. Present teacher. Awesome. Sylvia. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy. Present teacher. Excellent. Yeni. Yeni. Yeni Carolina. Present teacher. Fantastic. All right. So ausente está Leslie. Eh, Karen Bernal. Eh, Brenda. Y that's it. Good attendance. Good attendance. Muy buen hecho. All right, any questions at this moment on the exercise? Questions at this moment about the exercise? What are you going to do? You are going to look at the conversation in section 3.7. And you are going to practice the roles. Practice the roles with the classmates. Any questions? Any questions at this moment? Somebody? Anybody? Question at this moment? What are you uh, going to uh, do? 
Roberto. Uh, teacher, you, uh, yeah, just I have a little problems because I, I know how to read the, the sentences. Uh, so that's why uh, I don't understand uh, very well, you know. Yeah, you don't understand the Me vocabulary too, or you don't understand uh, no, the no, pronunciation? No. The pronunciation when I read, uh, uh, I see the the letters a uh, little bit tiny. I don't know if it's right when I say it like this. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, try, try as much as you can. You know, I'm an old man, so I can see it. Mm -hmm. If you try, yeah. you're you're gonna be able to see it too. Okay, 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 buddy. All right, try it, guys. Try doing your best. Try doing your best. Remember, nothing is perfect. Try to do the best you can. If I can see it and I'm old, <laughs> I know that you can see it. All right. Any questions apart from that? All right, let's go. You will have five minutes, five minutes to practice, exchange the roles, and repeat. And then we will practice together as a class. I'm going to share it with you guys uh, through an image on the WhatsApp. I don't know if there's it's in the manual. I think it should be. Can you guys see it? You, uh, teacher, you want to send the, the sentences? Yes. Ah, okay. I sent it to the uh, WhatsApp chat. Go ahead and take a look at it. I use nine. Can you guys see it? It's in the WhatsApp chat. I sent it right now. Teacher, uh, I have a problem when I. Ay, Dios. Se me bloqueó la computadora y hasta ahorita logré entrar y me oh, tiró uh, That's okay. Allí se los compartí yo en el. Um, se los compartí yo en el chat del WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, no, no, sorry. Ahí, ahí está. No se ve tan clarito, pero. If you try, you can. La práctica consiste en practicar la conversación, teacher. Correct. That is correct. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Can okay. you see? Wendy or Elisa, practice the conversation, please. Yes. Okay, I am Jet, creo que dice. Y el otro es Emily. Emily. Okay. I am Jill. Okay. Your weird picture are. A really beautiful, Emilia. Thank you. Oh, speech. 
were talking right after the ceremony. Okay. Where was the... No se entiende. Where was... Where was the ceremony? Where was the ceremony? At a child when people get married in Japan, they sometimes the time. The, the you received a picture about the conversation that we need to practice. All right, guys, it looks like a lot of people cannot see uh, the conversation. So we're going to go ahead and skip that activity. All right. Vamos a saltar la actividad because a lot of people cannot see uh, the handwriting, which obviously uh, we need to improve that image. Uh, somebody that can see that image. Alguien que sí pudo ver la imagen. Más o menos, pero duelen los ojos. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I barely can see that, that picture. Yeah, yeah, it's real bad, real bad. Okay, vamos a saltar esa actividad eh, because obviously we cannot really see that, so that's okay. We're going to move forward and we're going to look at rhythm where it says uh, section 3.9, section number 3.9. Uh, by the end of this session, you will be able to notice the stress and rhythm in sentences. Al final de esta lección, ustedes serán capaces de identificar la fuerza de voz y el ritmo en las oraciones. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. All right, listen and repeat. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Se escucha un solo desorden. Ok. All right, guys. Uh, can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Ok. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, try it one more time. Try it one more time. Vamos a tratar una vez más. All right. When people get married in Japan... When, when people get married, 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 married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. They sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay. We're going to listen to the audio uh, and the chair. Hi. What does it mean shine? A shrine Shrine es como un templo eh, en Japón. Ellos no se casan en iglesia. Ellos se casan en un shrine, que es básicamente como un templo para ellos. Ah, ok, ok. Yeah. Shrine, shrine. 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 Uh -huh. Yo creo que los japoneses eh, creen en... En Buda. 
Ah, en Buda, right? En Buda, ok. Ok. Ajá. Creen en la reencarnación. So, al Buda lo tienen en un shrine. Es como un templo para él. Ok. Let's continue. I can listen. I can listen, teacher. Oh, you can't hear? Sorry. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Listen and repeat. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. After the After ceremony, the ceremony there's, there's a reception with family and friends. And friends. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. After, After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Before the guests presents. leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Before the guests leave, the guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Guests usually give money to the bride and groom. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, so in this activity, what I would like for you guys to do is you're going to take a couple of minutes and you're going to practice the audio. But then when you finish uh, practicing the audio, I would like for you to go ahead and record yourself in Boca Roo and put the recording here at the bottom in the discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions? No questions. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to record? Record, record in, the, in the Boca room? That's right. And, and, and share in, in the discussion, discussion. And share in the discussion forum. That's the going discussion. to be. That is correct. That's going to be your homework. Now, for the next activity, we're going to be looking at section 3.11, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be exposed to adverbial clauses of time, what they are and their use. Adverbial clauses of time, what they are and what's the use. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. It's stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. 
We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating All right, guys. So these are some examples of the adverbial clause. Repeat, when. 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 After. When. when. After. After. Before. 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 Since. Since. Until. Since. Until. Until. While. 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 Whenever. 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 All right. So, estos son, guys, como cuando usted dice, eh, me asaltaron cuando venía en el bus. So, la idea principal es, me asaltaron. ¿Cuándo? Cuando venía en el bus. So, el, cuando venía en el bus es el adverbial clause. Right. I was robbed when I was on the bus. Right. Oh, you could say, for example, um, uh, he he lost his cell phone when he took an uh, a taxi. When he took a taxi. Okay, so the adverbial clauses are typically used to express the time when something happens. El tiempo cuando algo pasa. All right, let's finish the video. Conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated, and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When? Is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is the subject. Comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, altogether is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject. Went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent. Well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world, or they have traveled around the world since they got married. The only difference is the use of a comma if the subordinating conjunction begins the sentence. Can you give us now two examples? Do so in our discussion box. All right. Uh, who can give me uh, an example using when? An example using when? One example. I drink water when I exercise. Excellent. I drink water when I exercise. Perfect. 
Okay, good. Okay, guys, we're gonna stop right here. It's already time to go. Please continue Teacher. working. Yes, Teacher, Karen. Eh, no sé si pasó asistencia cuando a mí se me bloqueó el computador. Eh, Karen. Karen Bernal. Karen Bernal. Yep. Karen Bernal. Yep. Okay. Present. Karen Bernal. Teacher. Present. Gracias. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Got you. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yeah. Teacher, ¿cómo vamos a hacer esa tarea de, de, de record de audio y ponerlo ah. en la, la plataforma? Eso será vocaroo.com. Bocaru.com. That's the record. Ahí se graba. Y no sé si quiere, le doy mi número y me escribe y yo le explico. Por fin. Anótelo. 7958. Sí. 6004. Ok. Thank you. Th thank you, Carolina. Thank you. I gotta go, guys. I have another class. Gracias. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.